Tires have to operate in all kinds of weather conditions and on all types of roads. They have to work in sub-zero temperatures in the north, scorching heat in the south, and everything in between. The tires are definitely the jack of all trades on your vehicle. Since tires are the only parts that actually touch the ground, they must adapt to all types of road conditions, which means there are lots of unavoidable hazards like potholes and road debris that take their toll on tires, especially when they are underinflated. For example, when a tire strikes a pothole, the sidewall deflects to absorb the impact. The amount of deflection depends on the speed of the vehicle, the type of tire, and the inflation pressure. In most cases, the sidewall flexes enough to protect the tire and rim from being damaged. In others, the lower sidewall is pinched between the rim flange and the ground when rolling over the pothole or object. If the impact is severe, the rim is damaged and the tire is destroyed. But if the sidewall plies are only partially damaged, then the tire will develop a bulge where the rim flange pinched the sidewall. Known as pinch shock, it is a very dangerous condition because the tire is severely damaged but still holds air after the impact. If a bulge is present after hitting a pothole or other type of road hazard, the tire must be replaced as soon as possible. Of course, the only way you're going to find something like pinch shock is to regularly inspect your tires. The best place to start is the tread because it is the main thing between your vehicle and the road. Rather than look for coins to check your tread depth, it's much easier to use the wear bars that are located in the tread grooves around every tire. Tire companies are required by federal law to mold at least six evenly spaced tread wear indicators, or wear bars, in all of the grooves that are exactly 2 32nds of an inch in height. That way, when the tread block on either side of a groove is worn evenly with a tread wear indicator, you can easily see that the tire has less than 2 seconds of tread depth, so it must be replaced. A recent government study on tire-related factors in the pre-crash phase found that 26% of the vehicles that experienced tire problems before an accident had tread depth in the range of 0 to 2 seconds of an inch. When tires were in the 3 32nd to 4 32nd tread depth range, the percentage dropped to only 8%. So don't waste your time wondering which coin is up or down. Just follow the tread groove until you see or feel a small bump in the channel. As long as there is space between the tread blocks and the tread wear indicators, the tire has at least 2 seconds of an inch tread depth, so it should be safe to operate. But if the tread is worn evenly with the wear bar in any spot on any groove, the tire must be replaced. When checking the tread depth, you should also look for any accelerated or irregular wear. If the tires are properly inflated and the axles are in perfect alignment, the tires should wear evenly between regular rotations. When you run your hand over the tread, a well-maintained tire will feel almost perfectly smooth. However, when the alignment is out of spec, the inflation pressure is incorrect, or a mechanical issue is present, Uneven, irregular, or accelerated tread wear is usually the result. If you find it early enough, a simple inflation pressure adjustment, tire rotation, or vehicle alignment might be all that you need to help you get the most miles out of your tires. If you wait too long, they will wear unevenly so tires with plenty of tread depth will have to be replaced much sooner. The best practice is to check the tread wear indicators at least once a month and periodically inspect your tires for any exposed steel in the shoulder areas before carefully running your hand over the tread to look for any irregular or uneven wear. But you have to check more than the tread depth to make sure a tire is safe. The tread and sidewall should also be carefully inspected for any bulges, cuts, or damage that exposes ply material. Crash data from the same government study showed that of the vehicles with previously damaged tires, 31.6% experienced tire problems before the accident. When the tires did not have any prior damage, only 4.5% were even classified as tire-related crashes. Finally, 
The most important area of tire inspection is the inflation pressure. You should check the air pressure in your tires at least once a month and use the inflation pressures listed on the door placard or in the owner's manual. When you inspect your tires on a regular basis, it's much easier to spot a problem before it ends up as a huge repair bill or worse. And if the tread blocks are getting close to the wear bars, then it's probably time to start thinking about another set of tires. If the tread wear seems uneven or irregular, or there is any damage that causes a bulge or exposes the fabric ply material in the sidewall or the steel belts in the tread, then it's time for some professional help. Contact your local tire service professional for their recommendations to fix the problem. Tire safety starts with inspection because it is the best way that you can tell if your tires need maintenance or need to be replaced. It only takes a few minutes, and while it saves you a lot of money, it can also save your life.